Carl Fairburn, OSS operative, focused and fearless, unmatched with a sniper rifle. Spent most of the war operating alone behind enemy lines, not used to working in a team, but willing to adapt if circumstances require it. For example, if confronted by millions of bloodthirsty Nazi zombies. Dr. Ephraim Schweiger, academic researcher, former pacifist and skeptic, would rather be in a library. Avoided conscription by assisting the Nazis research their favorite obsession, the occult. Inadvertently, he assisted in bringing about the apocalypse. He is no longer a pacifist or a skeptic. Boris Medvedev, Red Army veteran, stoic, practical, and no-nonsense, fiercely loyal to the deserving, narrowly avoided charges of insubordination on a number of occasions. He has witnessed and survived far worse than the horrors of the zombie apocalypse. Hermann Wolf, Wehrmacht captain, alert, wary, doting husband and father, Little patience for politics with its attendant egos and backstabbing corruption. Never believed in Hitler's message, but followed orders for the sake of protecting his family. Hannah Schultz, freedom fighter, fierce, driven by vengeance, orphaned at an early age, values family above all else, wears the uniform of the man who executed her husband and children. Anya Bokareva, amateur sharpshooter, patient, deliberate, and patriotic. Gave up rifle sports and her university studies to serve in the military when Germany invaded the Soviet Union. Rapidly established herself as one of the most formidable snipers in the Red Army. Marie Chevalier, resistance fighter, independent and single-minded, dreams of owning a vineyard, Executed key sabotage missions to facilitate the Allies' advance through France following the invasion of Normandy. Then traveled alone to Berlin on a personal mission to assassinate Hitler himself. Beth Coleman, portrait painter, a keen eye and a steady hand, an artist with a gun. Exchanged brushes and canvas for guns and bullets when subjects stopped sitting politely and started attacking her. No previous combat experience, but quickly discovered a talent for dispatching the undead. My Führer, the war is lost. Surrender is our only option. The Fatherland will not fall! Execute Plan Z! Germany is shrouded in darkness. Nazi zombies walk the earth. You are one of the few remaining living souls in Germany. You have arrived at an abandoned village, en route to Berlin, hoping to find a working vehicle.
It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. <coughs> we do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, we want to know that, but there's no sense playing over the
was a lot like you Maybe not quite as heavy Now little Carolyn is in you too One day they woke me up So I could live forever It's such a shame the same will never happen to you You got your choice Did you think I meant you? That would be funny if it weren't so sad. Well, you have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe 